the main purpose of this tutorial is to explain the method to send a notification on the android blink app with the python code so let's get started create a new device from the template choose your existing template and mention any name let's call it test one and create once done you need to copy uh, this code to clipboard and uh, paste it somewhere uh, to keep it safe so let's say i save this or token now coming to this template we have switch value uptime button control etc and uh, if we don't need all of these uh, we can rename transfer or edit that dashboard we need to click on the edit dashboard we need to um, delete everything here let's say I deleted everything now what I need to do is uh, let's create a simple label so here we have a label we need to attach some data stream to this let's see we have these data streams uh, on b0 v1 2 and 3 and if you want to move to the data streams here you can see we have all of these data streams let's delete all of these and uh, type d e l e t e delete and uh, i fully understand that i'm deleting let's create a new uh, virtual pin and uh, make it integer i'm okay with that minimum value is zero maximum is one i'm okay with that as well and uh, let's create on the automation sections we have available this integer for the automation let's export this data streams check that we are okay for this data stream to be condition and action we need this automation process so that we can send an alert on the mobile app okay and coming back to the home we have this device uh, let's cancel save and apply we have this label um let's add this we have this label click on the settings attach this data stream um, it doesn't matter let's save it and now that we have this value let's also create a button or maybe a switch so that you can change the value from here and let's attach it with the data stream as well show on of labels as well and save this so once that we had saved all of this we can save and apply so now we can move back to our dashboard we have this device available here let's see what we have in the over mobile app if we open our mobile screen we should see that we have a test one device available which is offline from now but here we have button which could be on and off this is also a mobile dashboard so we can change this here we have quick start templates we can change this template as well if you if we want and we can add 
अपरंत so as you can see these are the templates and we can copy that we can add one more label here we have this label So this will modify the template here, right? So if we came here, we can change this one as well. We have simple button and we add patch this value to here. We can change the type as a switch or push. So let's say I call it switch and come back and for the label I chose the same data stream for this and now if we came back you can see that the value is reflected on the label right but we want to do this with the python and we want also want to add a new automation for making the alert let's create an automation it could be a device state automation or we can schedule it but because we want to send a notification to uh, the mobile app on a specific condition so we need to wait for a device state to be changed so let's select the device and the data stream and now because we have just two states uh, we can choose the half state but we need to select is on okay so we selected the is on and next is the action what you want to do when the device is on and we need to send in app notification what is the title this is our test notification you can change this title and the message here in the later on and this is a test message so once done you can simply come back and you can change the time period of how often you want to receive this notification so I choose the one minute is default so I can leave it so uh, one uh, a notification would be sent every minute or at least it has to wait for a minute for the next notification so if you choose the one second it will keep a notification on and on and on so I'll just make it one second for a testing purpose uh, so that we can see the notifications coming you can change this setting later and click done you can set a name and cover if you wish and uh, because this is just a test notification we can call it a test this is a test notification uh, automation so now that we have this device offline how to make it online um we have a blank library here we need to uh, follow this library once installed in the windows there is a catch uh, I don't know this library by default doesn't work for me in the Windows because uh, maybe this library is compiled for the Raspberry Pi. So what I I did I copied the source code of this blank lib and it is copyrighted with the proper uh, person. So I claim the copyrights of this. I just copied this blank lib.py 
to use it and um, I created this code here I have a code I need uh, this is also taken from this repository and the official documentation of the blank I need to change uh, the auth token now let's copy this auth token and paste it here we don't need uh, these uh, lines anymore let's save it and uh, uh, here we need to mention which data stream we want to send the data on because we have an integer data stream on the uh, d0 so we'll call it a zero and here we need to mention a one and it would be done so if i run this code it will continuously send the notification every second first of all you would notice that the notification on the mobile screen and if i close it you here you can see the device is live and you can see the server is running i can click on that and it is continuously if i make it off it come back on again so um let's see i off it it automatically with the python code it come back on and send a notification okay i close it i also close and it send the notification again so that's all the process of sending a alert on the blink mobile app from the python code